Good evening. This is Agashwini Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandhan with Evening News. The headlines. President Robert Momo says it is the duty of civil servants to respond promptly to the grievances and problems of common people. Chief Minister Nipirio expresses happiness on the work progress for the ensuing Hornbill Festival. Union Health Ministry says it is closely monitoring the reported outbreak of avian influenza and clusters of respiratory illness in children in northern China. An advisor food and civil supplies gate to Kuka Sukalo says mothers are the backbone of a child's future. Now the news in detail. President Robert Mumu said it is the duty of civil servants to respond promptly to the grievances and problems of the common people. She stated that young officers must take such innovative measures which are beneficial to the citizens and the country in the short and long term. She was addressing a group of officer trainees undergoing special foundation course at Haryana Institute of Public Administration who called on her at Rastra Padipawan today. The president said it is the duty of civil servants to achieve the goal of inclusive development of the country. She added that the citizens of India are active participants in the growth journey of the country and appealed them to promote Jan Pagidari to achieve the objectives of various programs. Appreciating the role of civil servants in the multifaceted development of the country, President Murmo said that they are also responsible for strengthening the unity and integration of the nation. She mentioned that the transformation that the country is undergoing today could not have been possible without the determination of civil servants. Chief Minister Nipirio expressed happiness on the work progress for the ensuing Hornbill Festival. Addressing the meeting with line departments and s- sectoral departments to discuss the preparation for the celebration of Hornbill Festival 2023 at Bampu Heritage Hall Kisama today, Rio informed that many guests, including officials from other countries, will be attending the festival. He urged all concerned to sincerely look into various problems and issues for the success of the festival. Rio also highlighted on the importance of cleanliness and called upon the gathering to create awareness on it. He also called upon the business community to sell quality products at a competitive price. The Chief Minister appreciated the ENPO for resolving to participate in the upcoming Hornbill Festival. During the day, the Chief Minister also inspected and took stock of the work progress and preparedness at Kisama. Minister for Tourism, Demchen Imna Along, speaking at a program, appreciated Chief Minister Nipirio for envisioning the Hornbill Festival and bringing all the tribes together to showcase their rich culture and traditions and also providing a platform to the local entrepreneurs. Along also appreciated the line departments for their effort to make the festival a success and asked them to continue the good work. Chief Secretary J. Alam said that with the participation of all the tribes, the festival will be celebrated in a grand manner. Alam, Alam called upon everyone to showcase the state in the best light. Union Health Ministry said it is closely monitoring the reported outbreak of avian influenza virus cases and clusters of respiratory illness in children in northern China. The ministry said there is low risk to India from both the avian influenza case reported from China as well as the clusters of respiratory illness. It said the usual causes of respiratory illness in children have been implicated and there has been no identification of an unusual pathogen or any unexpected clinical manifestations. The ministry said India is prepared for any kind of public health exigency that may emerge from the current situation. The health ministry added that India is embarking on a One Health approach to adopt a holistic and integrated roadmap towards addressing such public health issues and that there has been a significant strengthening of health infrastructure, especially since the COVID pandemic. Advisor of Food and Civil Supplies and Legal Metrology, Kate Dukuka Sukalo, said that mothers are the backbone of a child's future. Addressing the 7th annual session of Zunobodo area to Timi Loka yesterday, Sukalu encouraged the women folk to be strong and be free from concerns about gender disparity. 
the advisor also called upon the congregation, especially the youths, to preserve our rich culture and traditions. This news comes to you from Akashvani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. A district-level social audit public hearing on Samagra Shiksha was held at Longleng yesterday. The audit was conducted by the Nagaland State Social Audit Agency, Social Audit Unit Kohima, and covered 24 schools across 13 villages. ESC Longling Dr. Samuel Ako Konyak P expressed concern on the existence of proxy teachers detected during the social audit process. Dr. Samuel assured that appropriate co- corrective measures would be initiated and emphasized on the need to rationalize the distribution of teachers across different districts to maintain a balanced ratio conducive to effective education delivery. District resource person Toshi Manin Jameer presented the findings identified during the social audit, which includes teacher shortages, presence of proxy teachers, inadequate facilities and safety concerns within the schools. The social audit reflects the government's commitment to addressing challenges, ensuring transparency and continually improving the education sector. Deputy Commissioner Kohima Kumar Ramnikant informed that in preparation for the forthcoming festive seasons, a mass social work will be held in Kohima Town on 28 November. The DC said the social work will be held from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. involving all the district offices in Kohima, Kohima Municipal Council and Kohima Chamber of Commerce and Industries. He requested all the participants to bring necessary tools and items for the social work and that the team leaders should ensure that garbage collected are properly disposed of at the KMC dumping site. The Deputy Commissioner also informed that KMC will initiate mass social work within colonies and wards. Deputy Commissioner Noklak Ari Kumba said Kanburas are the village headmen and agents of the government functionaries. Ari Kumba, while inaugurating the Tonuknyo Area Village Chief GP's Union Custom Record at Noklak today, said that the number of duties assigned to them are maintenance of census, collection census, collection of house tax, maintenance of land records, etc. The Deputy Commissioner stated that Kamburas also assist the government in times of election and encourage them performing the duties sincerely and to cooperate with the government. The Accountant General AG Office held an audit divorce at Hotel Saramati, Dimapu, today. Speaking at the event, Deputy Commissioner Dimapu, Dr. Tino Jungshi Chang, encouraged the pensioners to take the opportunity and share their grievances. Principal Accountant General A. Pitoho Chopi said the audit divorce is being organised to celebrate the history of the organization, evolution and recognize contributions of the organization in governance of the country. The bodies of two persons who got drowned at Doyang River were recovered today. Additional Superintendent of Police Walker Soriso K. Quinker said that the first body was recovered last night while the second body was retrieved this morning. Quinker said it was a coordinated search and recovery operation consisting of the administration, police, STRF team and local fishermen. Additionally, another drowning incident was reported in the morning hours yesterday at Doyang River in Moilan area and the body was retrieved a few hours after the incident by the villagers. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. President Robert Murmur says it is the duty of civil servants to respond promptly to the grievances and problems of common people. Chief Minister Nipirio expresses happiness on the work progress for the ensuing Hornbill Festival. Union Health Ministry says it is closely monitoring the reported outbreak of avian influenza and clusters of respiratory illness in children in northern China. An advisor for food and civil supplies, K. Dukuga Sukalo, says mothers are the backbone of a child's future. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.